Hello and welcome to Extended Play from Metreon in San Francisco. I'm Adam Sessler. And I'm Kate Vitello. Games like EverQuest have introduced us to the concept of a persistent virtual world, which is basically like a universe in cyberspace that goes on perpetually in real time. The problem is, is that most of the denizens of these worlds are always just trying to achieve the same goal. Now what if you're able to go into that world and divert yourself and just have a little fun? And what if you can access that world from both your living room and a nightclub? Well, a company named Zulu is working on this very thing, and this concept is very much in motion. See it for yourself. There have been many attempts at creating virtual worlds online, but unlike the current crop of massively multiplayer games, the folks at Zulu are ready to take it to the next level, as my tour guide, Jim, yeah, escorted me aboard the Adriana, a luxury space cruiser Adriana. orbiting an alien yeah. world. Well, Jim, thank you very much for transporting us here today. Let's just begin, uh, what were the origins of Zulu Entertainment? Well, a group of us uh, were sitting around one day and uh, trying to decide what the most interesting and fun part of computing could be in the future. And because we're simulation experts, we said, you know, if you could really run a true simulation of reality, which is physics and mechanics, it would really add a big dimension. The reward, if you do that right, is you get a level of reality, a level of immersion that's just way beyond what computer gaming has been able to do in the past. So what is the ultimate vision for the Zulu universe? We want a large, consistent universe, or at least a solar system, which feels like a real place. And in this world, there are, uh, there's not just one little thread of gameplay. There are multiple threads of gameplay, just like it is in the real world. For example, some person might be a car fanatic, and so we've got some ground-based vehicles in this alien place, which uh, would appeal to them. Now, um, how will people be, be playing it? Now, we have the idea that, that there's going to be, let's, let, let's just start with, with sort of the, 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 the public places, these, these bars, nightclubs that we're yeah, so, looking at. So there are really a couple of distinct ways that they'll interact. Uh, the most obvious way, and actually the most fun way, will be come to a physical site, which we call a Zulu showcase site get into vehicles which have really high quality controls and uh, full motion, surround visuals, surround music, but you can also come in from home. In fact, you can come into the same universe from home and then mix with the folks who are in this physical site, the showcase site. Well, obviously, this sounds terribly compelling and there is some stuff that's, that are prototypes here, so uh, let's go check them out. Let's, let's go look at it. The first thing I wanted to try was Condor, a gliding sim that has players collecting crystals and shooting them into giant baskets. The simulation pods themselves sported realistic force feedback controls, and best of all, the pods actually moved in six degrees of freedom. Okay, Adam. All right. We are launched. Now, you are controlling the craft, and I've... I am uh, to need to collect the crystals here. You are the guy who's going to pick these babies up if I can fly good enough. Let's see, if I dive too fast, I'll bump into another guy, but let's take a look. Oh, we did. Now, how expansive is all this land? If, if you're actually in, in, in actual, how many virtual miles is this, is this area? You can actually go clear around the planet here. So it's thousands of miles. The, the terrain is built right ahead of us using a mathematics of fractals. That looks good. Yes. Let, her just, let her go with the left hand. Perfect shot. We scored. We scored. <laughs> Not bad. While Condor seemed a little tame for my taste, I had another thing coming when they fired up a game of Dominion, which could be described as capture the flag and high-speed doom buggies. Now, you are in the driver's seat, and uh, you're going to be controlling the car, and I'm, I'm sitting next to you, and I'm actually manning the cannon here. We also have this map here that, in the rear view, there. That's fun, because you can see what you're up to. Uh-oh, hey, we got we incoming, go. baby. Tell you what, let's run for the flag. All right. Hey, the flag is there, although mortar's coming in. There we go. Let's we see. found the flag. Yeah. Now we'll see We're going to make that run for home. So we we'll get tumbleweed. Get a beat on him. Close enough. Oh! And must that's been somebody else behind us. Not far on the edge. Yeah. I'm falling over the side. And so, after getting thoroughly spanked in Dominion, I left with the feeling that once this all comes together, the Zulu universe just might be a nice home away from home. While Dominion is quite a bit of fun to play, let me just say that if Quake makes you feel a little funny in the tummy, you have no idea what it feels like to be playing that game. 